mistake to make is that this is an external angle, and that's not true. The external angle is just as if you carried the side on in a straight line. So that's an external, that's an external, that's an external, that's an external, and that's an external. Now for any shape, the total of the external angles, if you imagine pointing, um, walking along the edge of the shape here, if you walked along here in this direction, and then walk too far and you had to turn to get along this side here, you'd have to turn through x once, twice, three, four, five times. So it's going to be always, the external angles always add up to 360 degrees. Okay. Now the advantage is, if this is a regular polygon, which I'm assuming from the diagram it is a regular polygon, which means all the length of the sides are the same, and it also means all the inside angles, the interior angles, are, are equal to, in that case, the value of x is easy. you just got to do 360 degrees divided by 5, because there's 5 sides or 5 turns, and that comes out to 72 degrees. So in this case, the exterior angle of a uh, pentagon, 72 degrees. Uh, and this question asks it the other way around. It says the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 45 degrees. And it says how many sides does this polygon? Well, if we think about this, we've got to turn, every turn we make is 45 degrees. It's regular, so every turn is the same amount. So it means we've got to turn through 45 degrees and we need to keep turning until we make 360, until we make a complete turn back to facing the way we came before. So that's easy. We've just got to do, find out how many 45s go into 360. In this case, 45 doubled is 90. That quadruple so it's 8. That quadruple is 360. So it's eight sides or eight turns. And in this case, that's easy because it's just a, an octagon, a regular octagon in this, in this case, and it's got eight sides. So it's all about turning around the outside, making a total of 360 degrees. Question three. In this case, we don't have a regular shape. We have a polygon, but not a regular polygon because not all the angles around the outside are the same. Same thing applies though. The total must be 360 all the way around the outside. The total must be 360. So all we've got to do is add up around the outside and find out what's remaining. So let's add up 107, 34, 48, 47, and 63. So if we add all these up, 7, 3 is 10, plus 8 and 7 is 15, that's 25, 29. So two, 9 carry the 2. We've got 10, 17, plus 2 makes 19, so it makes 299 overall. So all the angles add up to 299, which means that x must be, make the total 360, so x must be 61 degrees. These are all exterior angles. This question, however, question 4, we have to calculate the interior. Now this is really easy if we consider the exterior. So... That's the exterior angle on the outside, and all you have to do is the interior is on the inside. So both of these add up to 180. Well, we did this question a bit before, but let's pretend we didn't. To find the exterior, all we've got to do is 360 degrees divided by 8, half, half, half again. So that's a total of 45 degrees. So each one around the outside is 45 degrees, and that makes the interior, we're just going to add up to uh, 180, so we've got 45, so we have to, the interior must be 135 degrees, and all of these are 135 each. So each one of these, all eight angles of the uh, regular octagon, all add up to, um, all, all add up to each 135, and the exterior each 45 degrees. Final question it says work out the size of the interior angle of regular hexagon and then use this information to work out the value of x. Okay, well, let's go over here again. That's the exterior. So this time we're considering a hexagon, it's regular, so they're all the same, so these are all the same length means all the angles are going to be the same, makes our life a little bit easier. 
so for a regular hexagon, 306 degrees the total turns for the outside. Divide by 6, because there's a hexagon this time, gives us 60 degrees. That allows us to find the interior angle. If the, interior, if the exterior is 60, the interior must be 120. These two add up to 180. So we can add that to our diagram. We know that that is 60 degrees, as is that 60 degrees. And that makes our life really easy, because if we've got in a triangle, we've got 60, 60, 120, we know that x must be 60 degrees, because all of them have to add up to 180. And we can use this knowledge all the time to find uh, information. Using the exterior and interior, you can then go on to find other information out. Okay, nice short video, that's the end of it.